Brian here with 6L DFT on another edition of 6L DFT Sound Off. I'm Joseph Trowbridge. We got a special guest with us today. We got uh, Bobby Lovell with Timothy Project with us. So, and, and we'll talk a little bit about Timothy Project as well. But I got to say something first, bro. You know, we're wearing Timothy Project caps. <laughs> You got a 6L DFT shirt, but what's, where's our shirts, man? Where, <laughs> you know, it goes both ways. Where's my cap? <laughs> <laughs> you wear a hat most of the time, or your, your face burns. So what difference does that make? It's hard, to make wear, it? it's hard to wear a hat on the range, man. <laughs> 6L range hat. <laughs> there you go. So anyway, so man, it's 4th of July weekend. We're out here at the 6L Ranch. We did a video in the field on testing out this RTS tactical level 3 plus plate. Yes. Well, heat got us. Yeah. It's the middle of the day now and we're already sitting at 100 degrees and we had two cameras die because they got too hot. Too hot. Uh, another camera died because it got too hot but it also erased our memory card. Erased our memory card. So hopefully we can get some of the data back of us shooting this plate but if we can't, we at least wanted you to show you the results. So, first of all, this is a level 3 plus. Um, yeah. It has a great small protective coating on it. And I, I tell you what, it's amazing. What yeah, do you think, it's, Joe? It's, it's impressive, actually. I was, I didn't think this small shield would last. And we put the hurt on it. Oh, we did. We Absolutely. shot everything. Yeah, you did. You you know, I, I told you today was your day to have fun and shoot and I mean, what, you put six rounds of 9 mil all Up across the top. top. Yep. 357 mag down here. Uh, 6.5 Grendel over here. Yep. And then you put three rounds of different two, uh, 5.56 down five, five, six, here. Yeah, we the did the M855s. 855. 105. 109s. And, and uh, 193s. Yeah, 93s. Yeah. And then you decided that you wanted to punch it with the 6.5 PRC and put it somewhere right yeah, in around right here. here. Right there. Right, there. Right, here. right here at the top. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then we got done with all that, and we're like, man, we forgot a gun. Yeah. And we broke out the little 224 Valkyrie. Yep. And so let's go the ahead. Space and rocket. Let, let's go ahead and reveal what happened here. Guys, right here, that is your 224 Valkyrie 60 grain V Max. Both of those went completely through that plate. Yep. They're not. These plates are not designed no. to stop this. And, no. and we knew it was going to go through, but we didn't know it was going to go through like this. Yeah, it's like a hot butter. Like hot butter. So to go back and look at it here, here's your, your M855, your your 109s and your, 103, uh, your 193s. Over here is your 6.5 PRC. You can see the little splatter all up here at 9 mil. Um, that's some lung getters there. Yeah, yeah, that's the lung getters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and blow your lung plumb out. Yeah, and then you got your 265 <laughs> Grendel down here. The 123 little made a little bit more indention than uh, the 100 grain did. 357's down in here. And really and truly, nothing hurt this plate. You carry it up there, the camera. Let me see it a little closer. So, the 65 PRC actually put a pretty good indention. And we did have a little bit of back face deformation, but not much. But once again, you can see those two 224 Valkyries, 62 grain, or 60 grain, 60 grain. max just went yeah. completely through. Now, we shot a 75 grain, and... I'm not it, sure if I didn't put it through the same hole. No, the 75 grains over here, it, oh, didn't, okay. it didn't even go through. So, 75 grains didn't go through, but those... 60 grain V Max traveling almost 3,200 feet per second just punched right through this yeah. like there was no but like it was butter. So all in all, the plate Show is phenomenal. The cheap carrier yeah. that we're testing. Yeah, the the plates Using the plate did phenomenal. You can tell our, our poor little plate carrier, the little cheap plate carrier that we did, <laughs> it didn't withstand all of it. Uh, you can see where the spall from all these shots went everywhere. So you know you're going to have to be mindful of that. The only ones that noticed they were coming up here it was were a the 9 mil. And I shot it high on that plate just to test that right. out. Right. But even then, it came out this way. It didn't yeah. It didn't come straight up. There's, you're, You might have some, but I, I think it's you'd be all right. to stop a bullet, not yeah. a strap. <laughs> and and uh, so, I mean, you're, you're gonna, you may get a little bit of spall on you, but for the most part, it'll, it's, be, it's, alive. it'll be alive. Yeah. <laughs> so, with that being said, 
one of the other things that Mendel wanted us to really talk about and review is their little concealed carrier plate carrier. This thing is amazing. Um, it is a uh, it's really lightweight, compact carrier. Now it's not light when you put the plates in well, it. No. The, all in all, with both plates in it, it weighs 20 pounds. Yeah. Which compared to our big battle rattle packs that we have, that you know they weigh 38, 40 yeah. pounds, and and so, but with this one with four AR mags, two on this side, two, two on this on side, side, and two pistol mags that we just stuck up in here just to see, it weighed 20 pounds. Yeah. I mean, it's almost half the weight of my big yeah. carrier and had almost as many mags on it. Yeah. Now, of course, this one being smooth, you don't have any place for molly. You do have both fore and aft, you have Velcro, so you could put patches on there if you're on a... a, a law enforcement or some kind of security team and you needed to put patches on there you have that and it's even got velcro up here so you can actually put you can actually put patches up here if you wanted to and, and this one actually will fit right there and i was just playing around and put it over there but but anyway so it's a great little plate carrier so For the money, those plate carriers are great. They're compact. They're 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 really adjustable, um, yeah. and they fit the ten to twelve plates. So, the, I really appreciate those. Those are great. I, I, the guys over at RTS Tactical are doing a great job. Yeah, I'm looking forward to putting it on and sweating in it. See. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll have to do another video follow up on that. I can't believe I lost on rock paper scissors with you, and you get this one, and I get to carry the good one. You know, the heavy one. I was like, you know, this isn't fair. Sorry. I think you cheated. It's all right. <laughs> Minor details. Minor details. Minor details. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for coming out and watching. And uh, we're going to do another quick video here with Bobby with Timothy Project to get an update on it. Uh, we'll have that video on our on our website as well. So thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh.